Hi there guys, this is Armcat Outdoors and today I'm out at a local trail by my house here. I decided to film outside because it's been absolutely beautiful. I recently got my hands on the new Mystery Ranch Rip Ruck 24. And this isn't going to be a review, I got this in yesterday. It's going to be a quick hands-on, um, I loaded it out for what I think I'll probably be using it for, which is a quick day pack. I know these are brand new and there's a lot of hype behind these from Mystery Ranch. This this is the 24, there is a 32 and a 15, I believe. It's either 12 or 15, but I think it's 15. And this is in their green, their forest color. I actually don't remember what it's called, so I'll have to edit it. Like I said, this is kind of, I wanted to get this out as soon as possible because I know there's not much information on these guys. And I wanted to primarily just show you guys what I can fit in it, what I threw in here, like I said, for what I think I'll be using it for. I'll be doing a big follow-up review after I've used it for a while. I can give you my real thoughts. So. Right off the bat, um, I did wear it out here. It is a bit small on me. I'm 5'10", about 205, and it's a bit small. The straps, I'll, I'll show you guys, but the straps, the straps are really well padded. I actually really like them. But they kind of sit weird on me. I just maybe have to mess with it a little bit. I do have it loaded out quite a bit. But right off the bat, what I did notice, the back panel feels awesome, and this is articulated up here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this articulates so it doesn't hit the uh, the laptop that I have in here. So that's pretty pretty cool to see. You do have the Mystery Ranch AquaGuard zippers there, and then on the inside here, um, you have a pretty decent uh, decent pocket. I've got just an A and P for uh, for Dummies book, and then I have my um, tablet and a 13 inch Dell XPS laptop and I believe I also brought my um, my Kindle in this case here so you can fit you know that's really what I keep in this kind of padded compartment the laptop sleeve is suspended which is awesome to see I think this kind of a must-have on an EDC where you're carrying an expensive laptop and then you've got a couple dividers in here and then a velcro panel too which I didn't even know about um, till now so you got a velcro you could velcro a holster in there for if you wanted to carry like that or just patch panels or any other organization stuff that's velcro back that goes down to here on either side there's no bottle pockets in this bag i'm not really sure why they definitely could have thrown one right here i was actually very surprised when i saw that that's all right i mean i'll survive padded uh, padded handle up top one little row of this isn't molly webbing but there, it's kind of like it more of an attachment section there and then you have the kind of not tech compartment. I have just a change of clothes. I'm going to the gym after this, so I've got those there. And then you have another divider and a zippered compartment. And then you've got, um, and then after that, that's all there is in there. So I've just thrown a couple things. I've got my portable chargers, my little essentials kit, and then my, um, my EDC kit with my knife and flashlight and everything in there. And then that's all in that compartment, which is nice. I mean, you've got a little divider, not too much. Um, you know, they're not, I think, actually, I really like the layout of this bag already with the two front pockets. And then the tech compartment where I had all the expensive stuff is really well situated and padded. Moving on to the front pockets here. These are, um, you've got the pole zipper on either side, and then these are magnetic buckles here, which is really cool to see. And then in this one, I've just got my keys, wallet, headphones. So that's just kind of like a quick access pocket there. And then in this pocket, I've got a um, my first aid kit. So that's just kind of like a quick loadout on this guy. Another little daisy chain hook and loop thing here. Or not hook and loop, but daisy chain. Yeah, I mean, first impressions, this bag, I think, I think it's going to be a, a hit. Uh, I really want to get the 32. I think that thing looked awesome, but they didn't have any uh, small, medium harnesses. Maybe, maybe I'd be okay with the large XL, but I'm glad I got my hands on this guy. Pretty lightweight, it's not too heavy. It feels kind of like, what this reminds me of, honestly, off the bat, is a Tom Bin Synapse 25, or maybe right in between, maybe like a 22. It's kind of the same shape in the back, the suspension, or not suspension, but the back panel, and the straps feel really good and feel like a, a Synapse. You know, there's no frame sheet, it's kind of like that, but it's more of like a tactical front. And off the bat, I mean, I think this is going to be a pretty solid day pack. I'll go ahead and um, keep you guys updated, but that, that's been my first impressions. If you guys like this video, it helped you out. I know I would have liked to see something like this, and that's why I do it. But if you guys liked it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the like button and share it. Be on the lookout for the follow-up review. Thank you.